morning, and welcome to your daily Longhorn News. I'm Derek. And I'm Jackson. And these are the news stories we have for you today. Uh, today is Thursday, March 5th, and let's tell you your daily Longhorn menu. For second chance breakfast, you have banana mini loaf. Um, for lunch, you're going to have either a choice of grilled chicken patty with roll and honey or blueberry yogurt parfait or you can also to have you can also have chef salad but for your sides you have mashed potatoes and gravy green beans and diced pears now to Jackson with the announcements thanks Derek today will be an end day in seminar there'll be a grade check and a five-minute meeting and tonight, there'll be a boys basketball sub-state game at Cimarron. Good luck and have fun. GLHF. And now to Trey with the weather. Thank you, Derek. Now for today's weather, we have a high of 57 and a low of 31, with winds coming at 17 miles per hour from the southwest. Back to you, Derek. Thank you, Trey. Now we're going on the scene with on the scene Colby and Isaiah Armstrong who's interviewing fellow students about tonight's basketball game and Chris Heron who was our guest speaker yesterday. This is Colby Johnson getting your daily news. Bet, what did you think about the Chris Heron assembly? I thought it was very heartfelt and real and very inspiring. Did it affect you? Um, I thought that it was very like inspirational. It didn't like affect me personally, but I see how it could <laughs> affect other people. Do you think? How do you think it'll affect other people? I think it will help them to motivate them to be better people and try their hardest to get out of the rut that they're in. Shut up, Isaiah. This has been Colby Johnson on the case. Hi, I'm Isaiah, and this is Cooper. Um, what are your thoughts on the Scott City game on Monday? Oh, uh, we got a dub. I'm glad we beat them, finally. Yeah, you guys play good. Um, what are you doing pr to prepare for the rest of the season? Uh, practicing like we should. Thanks. This is Isaiah Armstrong. <laughs> Thank you. And now to Trey and Drew for our next segment. Uh, welcome to our new segment that doesn't have a name, but... We'll be testing Trey's math here. It's called testing math. Yep. And we're going to test uh, his hardest grade level, kindergarten, to see if he was able to do it. Start off. <clears throat> 2 plus 7. 9. 8 plus 2. 10. 7 plus 1. 8. 6 plus 3. 9. 9 plus 1. 10. 5 plus 2? 7. 2 plus 4? 6. 3 plus 6? 9. 2 plus 5? 7. 5 plus 5? 10. 6 plus 2? 8. 1 plus 5? Sorry, I blanked out there. 6. All right. These were so easy, so we're going to have one more. It's a really hard one. All right? <clears throat> 3 plus what equals eight? Five. And that wraps up wow. testing math with me. So Trey, Back to you, yeah. Derek and Jackson. And that has been your daily Longhorn News. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, this has been your host, Jackson Stoppel and Derek. Signing off. And remember kids, if you smoke, your life's a joke.